Okay, so this, I already kind of showed this maybe in another video. And I'm, it's just two videos in one. This is how I do it. So this is the coffee that I'm drinking right now. So obviously if you just brew this, it's going to be black. But if you add creamer to it and stuff, um, obviously it's going to add calories to it. Um, but for what I use for my coffee, most of the time for creamer, this is what I use. So I have a spoon in here and this is just the per one tablespoon 10 calories, which a tablespoon is pretty big if you actually like look at a tablespoon, um, but it only has 0.5 fat and one carb, no protein obviously for a tablespoon. Um, so yeah, this is the creamer that I use. So every day I will, this is already done, like already like has everything in it, but I'll brew the coffee and then I'll do a few scoops of this and then I just use like pink Splenda packets, which I don't need to show you that. Um, Everybody, I think, knows what those look like. And then I showed this on my Instagram story and I think in another video, my vlog. But um, this is almond milk creamer. This is only 15 calories per tablespoon. Um, I use some form of cream. So, like, I will do, like, the powder and then I'll add in just a little bit of cream to it. So, I'll either do that, like, that's seasonal, obviously. But this one is one of my favorites. This is just the silk almond milk creamer. Um... This is 25 calories per tablespoon. That's vanilla flavored. And then um, I also have from Aldi's. This was also seasonal and I think I used it once, but I'm still gonna probably use it. The pumpkin spice and this is just your typical 35 calories. So I only do like a little bit of that for creamer for coffee. Like I don't do a ton by any means, so I probably hit the 35 calorie mark. I also use half and half sometimes, but lately I've been into flavored creamer, so that's kind of what that is. Um, Bud Light, that's extremely healthy, obviously. Um, I have these in here, and I've shown these before, too. Um, Premier Protein Shakes are, like, one of my favorite things to just grab and go for school. There's three fat, five carb, and 30, 30, 30, 30 grams of protein in these, and my favorite flavor is bananas and cream. So, pretty self-explanatory, just a protein shake. Um, and they obviously last forever, like, these expire next August, so they're good to have when I am into powder protein, or if I'm into just grabbing these really quick, so... Um, alcohol, I kind of, this, I'm just showing you guys all of the things that, like, I, like, in the intuitive eating style, but, like, um, if I'm not drinking beer, which beer, my favorite is Bud Light, that's typically what I'll drink, um, but if not, um, this is also what I'll drink, I drink White Claw, and these are, they say that they have 110 calories, 4 carbs, but obviously if you know anything about alcohol and macros, you can make, like, 110 calories if you wanted to make that, like, 30 carbs or you know 10 grams of fat like eat, there's no nutritional values so the four carbs is kind of irrelevant in this um so yeah I'll drink those because they're kind of lower calorie um than drinking like 10 beers they make me feel less bloated too and they're five percent um another coffee item that I like to buy a lot is Starbucks iced coffee black dark roast I will probably just drink this plain most of the time there's 10 calories in it um but this is one of my favorite things to drink like on the go um for seasoning or geez condiments and stuff I love adding hot sauce to stuff um I got this one in Des Moines when Sam and I were visiting his mom at the farmer's market, but this one's just Lola's fine hot sauce. Like, it doesn't really matter what the flavor is. I like to put hot sauce on a ton of stuff. Um, and then when I go into my other fridge, I'll show you guys the other condiments. But, um, what else is in here? Um, I personally love mayo. I don't put it on everything, but when I want mayo, this is the one I use. I just use light mayo, or if I'm feeling... Um, like I want something different, I use the olive oil because this is delicious if you've never had it. Um, another idea for ranch, I use the light Fiesta Salsa one. This one's really, really good if you're looking for a different kind of rancher, just trying something different. So, that's basically most of the condiments. Um, let's see, I'm going to show you guys over in my, on my desk here in a second just because I bought a bunch, but... I love these. These are just flavored waters. They count towards your water intake during the day, so I love to drink these because plain water just gets really boring for me. So this one's white grape. There's black cherry flavored up there. This one's black cherry. This one's strawberry. And then I'll show you guys a couple more that I have as well. For butter, if I'm like sauteing something or... Okay. Um, if I need to make something with butter, this is the kind that I use. Just that I cannot... 
I cannot can't believe it's not butter. This one's the light, so for a tablespoon it's four fat um, for 40 calories. So that's the type of butter that I like using. Um, let's see, nothing exciting in there. Okay. Maybe this will help, maybe a little bit. Okay, I'm only showing you guys this because I just bought these today. Um, this is also from Aldi's. Um, this one's like the Fit and Active Lemonade flavor. Again, it's just flavored water and it makes it easier to drink during the day. So I'm drinking this one right now with my coffee or whatever. But I typically just get one of these big things and I just load them up with flavor. So I have like three white grape. I have um, strawberry. That one's another strawberry. This one's mango. I've never had this before. Mango tropical. Um, and cranberry one so those are just a few more drink ideas that i buy a lot okay so it is almost 4 30. um sam and i took an online test we just listened to a lecture online because we have a test on Wednesday, tuesday um but i'm hungry so i just went in the kitchen and cut up an apple a carrot stick a few peppers and some tomatoes because snack time so this is just one of the typical things that I'll grab for a snack. So they fill me up and get between meals. Are you eating carrot stick? Okay, so I'm sorry about the crappy lighting, but Sam and I just tried the chocolate peanut butter Cheerios and the banana nut Cheerios. Sam does not like these. Why? Why do you not like them? I like these. I would give these like eight and a half out of ten because I love chocolate and peanut butter. And then these ones. They're an interesting. I don't know how I feel about them yet. I probably would say like an 8 out of 10 for these. They do taste like. Uh, 5 out of 10. It's banana. Banana fucking banana. Banana what? That little chewy stuff. Laffy Taffy? Yeah. Okay. Banana Laffy Taffy. I think it's good. I would recommend these and these. These for sure. I actually really, I probably would give these a 9 out of 10 actually. If you like peanut butter, you're going to like these a lot. I think that these taste really good together. But I've also heard people like say that mix these with these and it's super good. That sounds like a pretty good combo. So I don't know. I, I would try both of them. If you're a Cheerio person and you like cereal, just go try them for yourself. I think that they're good. So that's our little review. So... This is my butternut squash, so obviously you can only use the top half. You can't use the bottom part because it's not spiralizable, but um, this was the leftover from one of them, but I will spiralize this other half. Sometimes it helps to cut them into smaller chunks because the flesh of a butternut squash is like really, really tough. So that's just a recommendation. And you have noodles. And the next is obviously zucchini. So we just have the noodles in here. These are much easier to spiralize, so kind of a benefit but also super good you can just grab some of these and some of your butternut squash noodles mix them up throw some sauce on them really easy okay so this one is sweet potato obviously i'm gonna do this one next but i had two sweet potatoes laying around and i just didn't feel like chopping them up this week so you can do the same thing sweet potato noodles and it saves you tons of money versus buying them for $4.99 at the store so and then i'm going to show you guys what i do with extra stuff like from the spiralizing so we have the zucchini, sweet potato, and butternut squash. You can combine all three of them. You can do two of them. You can do one of them. You can do, I don't add other stuff. It's totally up to you and it's super easy and prep friendly. Okay, y'all, this is what is left over. God, this lighting's terrible. I'm so sorry. This is what's left over from the rest of the butternut squash that I could not spiralize. So that is a lot of food. Like, that is a lot of extra that you can use. I'm actually going to freeze all of this because I have so much stuff right now. Like, thank God, like, the rest of the semester. But if you wanted to roast all of this and have this as something else, like, if there was more than just one of me, like, when Sam and I lived together, 
I would have probably roasted this just so we had a lot of food because he eats a lot too. So, but I'm just gonna freeze this for now, but that's a lot of extra um, like leftovers. So I just thought that that was substantial to show you guys. Okay, so for intuitive eating, I just wanna show you guys some of the things that I keep in my fridge and pantry just because um, that's kind of what the point of this video is. Um, this is one of my favorite kinds of ice cream. This is the So Delicious Dairy Free Cashew Milk Salted Caramel Cluster. Super good. Um, I've had this in my freezer for a while now and what I like to do is just kind of take, I never like sit down and eat it. I just like to have like bites of it as you can see, but it's like literally one of the best ice creams I've ever had in my life. Like so delicious. Um, I keep a Ben and Jerry's in here typically, again, just to have um, a bite of something here and there because balance, intuitive eating, exactly. Like I don't like depriving myself and I love ice cream. So um, I've had this since summer. <laughs> Obviously I haven't made that much of a dent into it. Sam actually bought this and it was originally his, but it's now mine and I've been eating it. So that's that. Um, this is what I'm gonna put in the freezer. This is my freezer overall. This is my side, like literally just this section is mine. The rest of it is my roommates. Um, just bought these today. These are my favorite. I like to have these in the morning, in the afternoon, whenever, and I always have just one. I never have two of them. Um, I don't really know why, but I always just have one and they're perfect. And so, um, yeah, really good nutrition on these. They're whole grain, not that the light does anything. I just have found that I like these ones better than these blueberry ones that I'm gonna show you because these are crispier and they just taste better in my opinion. Not anything to do with the light. I just, I like them better. Um, this is also mine. This is chili that I made a while back. I said I was going to post the recipe, but I never did. I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, here is that again. That's the chili. And then I have just some... I like to freeze my bread because I don't eat it fast enough. So um, these are just some 100% whole wheat um, English muffins. They're really delicious. I like them with nut butter, peanut butter, almond butter, anything. And then this is the bread that I eat. It is the 100% whole wheat brown berry. Um, I like to have a slice of this before clinical in the morning, at night, whenever. Honestly, I don't eat stuff at specific times. I don't even know why I'm saying that. Um, I bought this. I've never had this yet, but this is just a Mediterranean quinoa, quinoa from Aldi's. I'm kind of excited to try it. So, I don't know. I just grab random stuff like that, like Aldi's fine stuff, um, if it looks like something I would eat. I have tons of rice cauliflower best thing for stir fry. Obviously most of my meals are quick and fast. This is bread I can get rid of. Um, I buy this kind sometimes too, 45 calorie. Super good. I like that one a lot. This is Sam's, not relevant. Um, I always keep frozen blueberries in my freezer because that's the fruit that I eat most of the time. Some more rice cauliflower. Um, so that is basically everything in my freezer that I keep and eat. All right, then opening it up to the fridge. Um, there's a lot of food in here. There's four of us who live here, so we have a lot of food, obviously. Um, look at my pimped out leggings, guys. Are they wild or what? Um, Walden Farms pancake syrup for the waffles. This is what I use. This is what I've used for like three years. Um, it's no calorie and it's delicious, so that's about that. Um, those aren't mine. Uh, none of those condiments are mine. That's in my freezer and I already showed you guys. Fridge and I already showed you guys that. Um, I need to put a thingy on these, but this, I'm making this tonight. This is just like leftover from my, um, like the things that overfilled the containers and this is what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight. Um, we have some low fat cottage cheese from Aldi's again. I love cottage cheese mixed with tuna. Um, I think that that's really, really delicious. Um, some red, um, some bell peppers that are just like tiny. I love eating these in the afternoon, whenever. Um, super delicious. Have some kale and spinach. Nothing too exciting. You guys have seen what I do with that. Um, this is just some broccoli slaw. Again, you guys have seen my meals. I like to throw tons of stuff together. So, yeah, I mean, I eat stuff like this all the time. I just throw it all in a pan typically. Um, this is cauliflower crumbles, just like the same stuff that's in the freezer, but it's just like fresh. Um, and then we just have some chicken stock that I used for soup a while back. Um, egg whites, always have to have egg whites. Um, some of Sam's stuff's in here, but that's pretty much it for that. Um, this is new. I have not tried this yet. This is the Yoplait Greek 100 protein. I love Greek yogurt. Um, that's the only yogurt I eat. Um, so I'm going to try these out and see if I like the Yoplait one. Um, Oikos Triple Zero is the yogurt that I eat. Um, it's my favorite. As well as, you guys know, let me see if I can find it. No, I'm just going to show you guys that. 
um, light and fit, but I got the new ones. I haven't tried these yet, but that's the other kind of yogurt that I eat. So that is everything on the top. In here, I just have some power balls, and if you guys have never like looked that up on Pinterest, those are just, they're really, really good. They're easy and on the go. Um, the sweet potato spiralized noodles that I showed you guys, and then back there, those are turkey meatballs that my mom made me last night, and they're delicious. Um, again, all about convenience. So, and then we just have um, eggs. I have red tomatoes and orange tomatoes back there. Um, some jalapenos in the back, and then we have two kinds of salsa because I'm a salsa fanatic. Um, I have some light sour cream that I like to throw on some meals every now and then. Down there I have hummus. This is turkey that I'm gonna cook this week from all these. Um, zucchini noodles, butternut squash noodles. And that's, this whole side is again my roommates. Um, and some random stuff thrown in there. But um, I have long stick carrots because I just like them. I enjoy it, like they fill me up and I just enjoy eating them like that. Um, this is also what I was talking about. This is the Greek yogurt that I like love, but this, uh, where did it go? This is like the newer version, so I grabbed it. I don't I don't know if it's different or not. Um, I picked up two things of egg whites today because that's what a lot of my meals consist of. Reduced sugar-free ketchup, obviously, that's my favorite. You guys told me, heard me talk about Lola's hot sauce, just some mozzarella cheese, um, some Swiss wedges. These are massive in my meals. Like, I love these. They're only 25 calories for one, and it's basically, you're just adding cheese to your meal with low calorie. And then I have some sriracha stuff back there, more yogurt, um, some jalapeno cheese slices. I don't even think I've opened these yet. Good, they're good till February 18th because I haven't opened them yet, but I love Velveeta jalapeno cheese. So, and then some more Velveeta down there that I used for macaroni and cheese. And then these are also super good. Let's skip the sandwich. Um, 60 calorie wraps. Um, I use these like really rarely. I don't really make sandwiches that often, but if I do, these are what I use. Or I use the um, other 60 calorie pita ones that I can show you guys sometime forgot to say this this is the milk that I buy for protein shakes shakes of all kinds um, just unsweetened cashew milk so that's what I enjoy I like it better than almond milk but sometimes I do buy almond milk it just depends on my mood for the week phone lighting is coming in clutch for this because obviously this is a dark closet so you're not gonna be able to see shit um, so I don't even know how to do this okay so I'll just kind of show you guys an overview Oreos, I have two cases. Yep, balance, intuitive eating. Welcome to my life. I have PB2, chocolate PB2 back there. Um, better oats, uh, oatmeal is my favorite if I'm eating oatmeal. Um, we have some natural Jif. I'm telling you that natural, like I never used to be like the natural Jif life, but it's so good. Like it's way better than the original. Um, just some regular oats back there for cooking or eating just in general. Um, some pumpkin spice pancake mix. Last green apple I have, some Abby's Butter um, Nut Butter. Both are super good. I need to do a review on them this week. Um, some beer pretzels back there. Those are super good. I just, I don't love them as much as I love these, and you guys know that I love the honey wheat. Bought this last night at Target. Love PB Whips. You can eat a lot more for low calorie. Um, back there, unsweetened applesauce. I use that in recipes sometimes. It's just good to have as a baking item. Um, some bone broth. I'm trying that this week. Cookie butter, honey, Kodiak cakes, of course. Um, a few apples and then some random cereals and stuff back there. Bananas, honey. Nothing super exciting in here. Just some essential stuff that I eat a lot of the times. Some skinny pop. Um, yeah. And then down here, I have some Tostito chips. I don't even know what kind those are. Those are from a few weeks ago when Sam and I made nachos. And then this is my shit pile of spices because I'm the only roommate who uses a shit ton of spices. So that's what that looks like. Can't wait to move. Cannot wait to move. I'm going to repeat that a million trillion times so I have more organization. Um, I don't think I... Yes, I'm still going to need this. God, okay. I'm going to open up the pantry. This is my shelf. Um, my roommate's shelf. My roommates and I eat really similar, we just don't always eat the exact same stuff. So I have bonza noodles, some noodles that I need to try still, some pasta sauce, peanut butter, cashews, pretzels, snack mix, and then just some miscellaneous baking stuff, guys, like nothing super exciting. I wish that I had lighting so that I could show you guys that. And then in here, um, this drawer is full of all my square bars, protein bars, um, drink mixes, anything like that. I 
occasionally like to drink or eat the Nature Valley um, crunchy bars. Those are super good. Drink packets. Brown rice in the back. Haven't eaten a ton of rice lately. I like the cauliflower rice just because it's lower carb. Um, what else do I have in here? Just some baking stuff like walnuts, um, sliced almonds, chocolate chip stuff, coconut flakes, just random stuff for baking. But um, as you guys know, my square bars, you can get my, you can use my discount code. I'll put it like right here um, to get your square bars. I love the crisp ones. This is my favorite square bar flavor, the chocolate sea salt. And then this is my favorite um, flavor in general, the chocolate cookie dough. So in case y'all care. But um, that is just like kind of an overview of my kitchen foods that I eat. So I'm just going to cook up some zucchini noodles, butternut squash noodles, sweet potato noodles. I'm just putting it on like a medium heat kind of. Um, actually, I'm going to turn it up to high because you wanted to cook on high. And then I just have some turkey meatballs that I'm going to add in, some spices, and then I'm going to use this sauce that I got from Oli's. Um, really, really, really good nutrition on it. So that is what I'm going to do for dinner. what's up guys so i just wanted to finish out this video and kind of talk to you guys a little bit about meals and what are my most common things that i eat with intuitive eating what is my like weekly look like what do i do on the weekends kind of thing because i do get a lot of questions and just people asking me what i eat and how i eat so i thought that i would sit down with you guys and just kind of talk about them okay so obviously it's never the same and like this is something that i want to kind of explain with intuitive eating a lot of people don't really understand what it is what it means kind of like how it's like laid out so basically i just to give you guys a little bit of a background i have been intuitive eating for about um i'd say two years now so um back when i was a sophomore in college i'm now a senior i tracked macros before that for about two and a half years and as much as that was like awesome for physique goals and just like being super healthy and fit and for like my goals back then it was great but it also turned into an eating disorder where the fact that i literally could not eat anything unless it was tracked and you know i don't have anything against people who track macros like i did it obviously for two years of my life it was a huge portion but um looking back now it was very unhealthy for me in general just as a mindset um i was very obsessive about food you know i missed out on relationships i missed out on you know stuff with friends like i just wasn't the healthiest person that i should have been as a sophomore and freshman in college like it just took away a lot of experiences that i wish i could go back and get back but i can't um <clears throat> The good that came out of it, it did teach me a lot about nutrition. You know, I am able to look at something and know what's in it. I'm able to, you know, do the correct portion sizes. You know, it taught me a lot about nutrition. <clears throat> so I don't ever regret it for that reason. But I do, I do regret the experiences that I lost <clears throat> with being obsessive with food. Um, <clears throat> I now, obviously, my relationship with food and my diet is a work in progress. It always will be. Um, but I have a much better relationship with food now than I did two years ago. And... You know it keeps getting better and better and better and I just feel like I finally have found like probably a year and a half ago I finally found like the perfect balance and you know obviously I have phases where I struggle a little more than others there's phases where I gain you know a little bit of extra weight and phases when I lose like everybody goes through trials and tribulations but I feel like after counting macros for so long it just led me to living a healthy balanced lifestyle and that's the way I do things I don't track anything I don't you know my fitness pal is still on my phone um i do look up stuff sometimes but i don't ever like i'll look up nutrition sometimes if i can't find it <clears throat> but i never track anything like calories nothing like in my head i do i catch myself doing that every day like i really really do like i'll be like oh i had a lot of carbs today i've had a lot of fat today like that is how intuitive eating works in a sense is you're keeping kind of in your mind keeping a good like idea of what you're eating being conscious that's what it is like being intuitive being conscious being smart knowing what you're putting in your body you know not going haywire every day and eating 10 pieces of cake you know so 
What I do now, basically intuitive eating is essentially 80-20. Some people think of it differently. I like to call it intuitive eating 80-20. So basically 80% of the food that I'm putting in my body every day is nutritious, nutrient dense, whole foods, you know, healthy. And I don't like the word healthy, I've said this, but like just nutrient dense, like stuff that's fueling my body that makes me feel good and makes me feel energized and makes me, you know, works makes my body work properly. That's 80% of my diet. Um, the other 20% is, you know, foods that people consider not so healthy, like, shit, I don't know, cookie butter or, you know, this Rudolph mix that's sitting right next to me. I don't know why it's sitting next to me, <laughs> but, you know, stuff like that, like, that's the other 20%. You guys can do the math with that, you know, like, 20% is just stuff that people typically would consider not healthy. Like, I may eat nutrient-dense all day and then go out for ice cream with Sam or eat cake or some days it's not 80-20. It's not a big deal. Like, it's all about just being consistent. Like, it doesn't have to be 80-20 every day. Like, if you want to, you know, do whatever you need to do. But that's just the way I do things. So, as you guys know, I am in nursing school. So, my diet kind of ranges each day. Some days I have clinicals at 6 a.m. So, that obviously is going to be a different food schedule than what would be on a Monday when I have class at 12. Or a Tuesday when I have class at 2.30. And I have the mornings. So, it just kind of depends a lot of the times, most of the time, I like to make those power balls and I'll just kind of like put the like my typical meals right here just so you guys can know. And if you want to hear a recipe for them, comment below. Um, but the power balls, I like those because they're, um, they have carbs, they have fat, and they have protein and they're energy packed and they're just something awesome when you need just like something. Like they're good in the morning when you need to grab something with your coffee and you're not starving. Like clinical mornings, I like eating those. Or at night right before bed when you'd like a cookie but don't want to eat the cookie like they're just better for you and it's just a better choice and I really enjoy those um you can do multiple different kinds of those but I really love those they're also great right before a workout or after another thing that I like to make a lot obviously is the zucchini noodles butternut squash sweet, sweet potato noodles I love having those prepped because it's just easy to make stir fries it's easy to make you know mixes of vegetables throughout the week that's typically what I'll eat for dinner um I love making cauliflower rice that's one of my favorite meals um it's just really really good and you can eat that throughout the week the only thing with that is it makes your fridge smell really bad so if you like live with roommates like I do I try not to do that that often um just being respectful um in the morning besides those those are like a really common thing I really enjoy making egg white cups and I've showed that on my Instagram before. Basically, you just take a cupcake tin and you put in different vegetables and then you put the egg whites in over top and bake them at 350 for like 20 to 30 minutes. Great meal prep idea, great meal idea in general. You can have them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, a snack. Egg whites are full of protein. Like it's just a really good, easy, convenient meal that I have a lot. Um, something else that I love, I love yogurt. I love Greek yogurt. I don't eat regular yogurt at all. I eat Greek yogurt. Um, I love that in the morning. Sometimes I'll have that for breakfast, mid-morning snack. Like I bring, some days I won't even call my meals meals. It'll just be like things that I eat throughout the day, like multiple. Um, I also love protein shakes. So I drink unsweetened cashew milk, obviously. You guys have seen that. And I'll put in like a packet of protein or I will grab one of the protein shakes from Premier Protein and drink that. So it just kind of depends on what the situation is. Um, I love hummus. I really, I don't even think I have any hummus right now. Yes, I do. I do. Another meal that I like to make a lot is spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash is great to throw into, um, again, just compilations. Like, that's just kind of how I make food. Maybe when I'm, like, out of school, I'll be, like, more, like, I'm going to make this tonight, this tonight, this tonight. No, probably not. I like to make just a bunch of stuff together and what's in my fridge. Um, spaghetti squash is a great alternative for pasta if you're a big pasta person. There's nothing wrong with pasta. I want to point that out. I love bonza pasta. I love protein pasta. All pasta is great. It's just better to have different options so you're not having, you know, loads of carbs each night if you love pasta. So maybe one night you have regular pasta, the next night you have zucchini noodles or butternut squash noodles. Just a lower carb option. I love kale and spinach. Kale and spinach is something that I add into a ton of my meals. You guys have seen that before. Um, by the way, I think I already put that in the beginning of my video, but if you don't follow me on Snapchat and my Instagram story, you're missing out. I put like all my meals on there. So if you need ideas, um, 
Another great idea that I love is just chopping up zucchini. Um, this is kind of a similar, but like I'll chop up zucchini, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, kale, like put it all in there. And the reason that I eat tons of vegetables and like stir fries with like protein is because it keeps me full. And I am the type of person that if I am starving, I'm going to go into my kitchen and get into my cookie butter jar or my peanut butter whip jar and just go to town. So making sure that I'm full is ideal. Like I just had that, like what you guys just saw, like if I eat something like that, like it's gonna keep me full longer and I won't be in the kitchen all night, so. I also love protein bars. Um, you guys have seen a few of them. Like, I absolutely love square bars. My square bars code is right here. Um, square bars are great because they keep me full too. Like, a, like for a short period of time, I'm not gonna lie to you and say they keep me full for four hours because they don't. Um, but they're really, really great just if you need something quick and fast, just like grabbing a yogurt or grabbing a protein ball. Like really really great for convenience like I don't always have time to make egg whites and toast in the morning like I'd like to but um you know they're just great to grab another meal that I make a lot is eggs I absolutely love eggs I make egg whites with always like one egg like omelets you can add in you know roasted vegetables in there you can do um you know top it with spices <coughs> and sauces whatever you like so that's something that I do a lot I love omelets like Sam hates it but like I love omelets and eggs like I always am like let's make eggs and he's like no that's gross um but that's something else I'll make if I don't have like chicken or turkey but yeah so that is just kind of what I have been eating lately just kind of an update on my diet um it keeps me healthy it keeps me happy and most of all it's what I enjoy so that's really what's important if you're not eating meals and enjoying food that you like love there's you're really doing it wrong guys there's so many options like I probably didn't even cover like everything that I've that I love to eat so living healthy and eating healthy and living a balanced lifestyle is not difficult it just takes dedication and time and you know wanting it for yourself and for your body so i really hope that you guys got something out of this video i appreciate you guys watching and make sure you give this a thumbs up for more videos and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys